I might need one. I'm hearing some feedback. Hold on one second. Let me see. Can you hear me? I can't, I can't hear you. Here we go. I can hear you now. Can you hear me? I can. I have my um my headphones in. Is they them motherfuckers got some rain because I don't know where they are, but they're still connected to my oh, cell phone. Okay. okay, so that's what I was hearing. Okay, cool. Baby. <laughs> yes, hi girl. I love the glasses. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for joining me. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How I'm doing good. Thank you. Hear me. Everybody hears me. Cool beans. Welcome. Now you're frozen. That's okay. We're going to keep it going. Hello, you guys. Everybody, welcome. Welcome. Miss Champagne B. All right. There you go. It was a little frozen, but we're going to work through this. I know. Those glasses are amazing. So I don't want to keep calling you all hell Miss King the whole time. <laughs> Tell us, what is your name? Who are you? Where are you from? What is it that you do? Okay. Um. Yeah. So, in the bar world, everybody knows me as TK, but I'm Tamara King. So that's what all hell Miss King. So I am a king technically. Okay. She's yeah. A queen, yeah. But she is a king as well. Um. Mm. So I am. You know, everybody say uh, Decatur is not Atlanta, but if you're not from here, then I have to say I'm from Atlanta. That way you can be familiar with the area. But if you're from Atlanta, I'm from Decatur. Okay. Mm. Decatur was greater. I've been, bartending. <laughs> I've been bartending for many, many years. Um, used to be on the club scene. Now I'm doing my own thing. So I teach classes. I um, also do private events. And, you know, I just get in where I fit in sometimes, you know? Yes. So you teach classes. What kind of classes? It's mixology classes. So it's like, you know, a fun event, you know, grab your girlfriends, grab your guy. It don't matter. He, she, we, us, me, them, everybody. And it's just a fun way. I'm not trying to make you a bartender. It's just a fun activity where you can make between two to three cocktails, you know, have some fun, do some shaker competitions. Like, it's fun. It's a fun little activity to do with your friends. Wow. Mm -hmm. I like that. How did... How did you even get into bartending? I know you said you've been in it many years. I'm not going to have you tell us how many years, but how did you even move into this world? Well, technically, I if you ask my friends, I'm a drinker. I used to be a drinker drinker. You know, one of you <laughs> like, you know, you just know what goes together. Um, I did take like an online class just so I could get you know, the basics or the terminology, but as far as like going to a school school, mm -hmm. no, I, I got thrown right into an Indian Bollywood bar. Whoa, yeah. wait a minute. An yes. Indian Bollywood. Oh, snap. Okay. All right. Keep yes. going. Keep going. I got questions. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. So that was my, that was my first spot. Um, I've been a lot of places. I've, you know, been in a lot of bars. Miko's. Miko's is now Fellowship. Uh, that's owned by Cam Newton now. Um, where else have I been? I've been everywhere, all through the cater. Mm, I travel. I do the arts and beats lyrics with my um, with my cousins, the Alcohol Heroes. Um, yeah. So I'm, is I'm, that what they're called, the Alcohol Heroes? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Because I didn't know if that was like a term of endearment. No, mm -mm. that's the brand, baby. That's the brand. And my brand, of course, is just sip cocktails. That's that's my baby. That's my company. And you know, yeah, like I said, I've been doing it for a little while now so mm -hmm. and mixology classes is a new offering that i have so mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so for your mixology classes I, I know a lot of my uh people they have questions about how to create cocktails so i always make sure i ask them i ask these questions how did you learn what goes with what was it like trial and error was it more studying what did you learn um Hey girl, hey! I saw somebody tell me, "Hey, hey y'all." That's okay. Say hi, yeah. Talk hey, to hey, them. Hey, hey, hey. Ask um, questions, you guys. 
Yes, ask questions. Um, so for me, it was trial and error. But when I started doing the, uh, the mixology classes, um, I started to get into herbs and um, aperitifs and things like that. So it's just, it's, it's like food, you know, it's like food. You just um, figure out what taste goes with what. A lot of people don't think herbs go in cocktails, but it do. It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so trial and error, yeah. Just practice throwing things together and figuring out what works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when you took your online courses or your online class, how did you find that? Was that one that you already knew about or were you just stumbled upon it? I think it, it was one of those that was um, like the thing back then. It was like ABC, Barton, something like ABC or PBC, something like that. Right. And um, I took the class. And yeah, I'm here. Wow. That's I, I you know, a lot of people will say things like uh they they don't do classes. I know I see uh, Mr. Mixologist on there. Um, yes, hey Josh. Yeah, he's like look at an awesome Josh. And one of the things he talked about, he was like, I took a bartending class, I don't give a fuck, whatever I think. And you know, people tend to, to shit on people. Who oh, he said he's gonna be in the A. Look, he's trying to make some plans. In the A, you got my number. Call me. You know I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so how so you're you're well it's like you are well known. How did you get connected? How did you get to you know how, well how, how do you think? I don't think <laughs> you are somebody said that, that you well was known. on Tyler Perry set. Girl, look at you all in my business. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was, um, okay, we outside. Um, so Tyler Perry came through, my cousins, the alcohol heroes, because mm -hmm. they have, you know, they have the bigger, the larger, uh, they have actual cocktail trucks. Mm -hmm. If you if you ain't never seen one, and the only one that I've seen, you know, here in Georgia is theirs. But, you know, we pull up. So it was like during the pandemic, girl, we had to get COVID tested before you got there, COVID mm -hmm. tested when you get there. And then like every few days you get COVID tested and you had to stay in there. Could not leave. You had to stay in the bubble. And it was pretty cool for us because of course we only serve when the uh when the when the sets wrap up. So mm -hmm. either we there early evening or we there late night. But it was, you know, super fun. Great experience. I would do it wow. again. Yeah. So was it and I don't know if you're able to really comment. Were you? Did you get to meet Mr. Perry, or was it just like you just knew he was there? I knew he was there. Yeah. Uh, man, have you ever I worked did. with him? Hmm? Have you ever worked with anyone famous? Say it again. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Have you ever worked with anyone famous, like anyone who's oh. or at least known? Yes, I've worked. Um, you don't um, have to name drop because I don't want uh, nobody to have to kill me. You know, you can just say wow. yes. Just tell me the experience. You know. <laughs> Nobody, no, no, okay. like I, I do a lot of, um, let's see, I've worked with, um, what is, I don't want to, okay, so <laughs> there's a braider, Atlanta braider, that uh -huh. does all the, uh, the real housewives, Ooh. so I've done events for her, and so by way of that, you know, you can see on my page, I got a few little, what? Oh, so how, and, I, and someone said you've also been Fab Fair. I'm not gonna say someone. I'm name drop myself. Fab Fair said you was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. How do you find these opportunities to be connected? Is it just you're <clears> in the right place at the right time, or how do you, how you get there? Okay, it, okay. So it wasn't Real Housewives of Atlanta. It was Married to Medicine. You remember that show? Oh, I love Married to Mel Medicine. Yeah, and I was working. Uh, with a company here called All Right uh, Communications. I think it's All Right Publishing now. Mm -hmm. um, and they have a magazine called Hers Magazine. So I was working the magazine, doing PR, doing marketing. So I wasn't serving drinks that time, but I was, mm -hmm. you know, on the scene. So yeah, that's how I ended up on TV. They had like an event with, um, see, I can't think of her name. Her name was Lisa. I can't think of Lisa's last name, but mm -hmm. all the ladies that's in that, um, you know. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. That was your debut, baby. Look at yeah. that. I love the support. Hey, y'all. Uh, it sounds like a lot of it's just you're, you're in the right place at the right, the time, right time, but also the connections that you have.
Yeah. Oh, I did do Eva Marcel's uh, eyewear launch when she was doing eyewear. What? I did that. <laughs> I did that. Yeah. And I also did her husband's birthday party as well. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And this, so you do you do you advertise down there or is it just word of mouth for you by this point? I do advertise, um, but a lot of my stuff, you know, like I said, I've been doing it for a minute. I do get hit up, you know, through referrals. Um, and I also mix my own, you know, custom cocktails. Like if people, mm -hmm. you know, need a little something. Hey, Rocky. I saw that. I yeah. saw that you mixed a lot of your cocktails. Someone wanted to know, what is your favorite drink to make? Tequila girl. And I love margaritas. Ooh, mm -hmm. how do you make your margaritas? So this right here is an elderflower margarita. Okay. Okay. So this one is just um, this one is just I use Terramana Blanco mm -hmm. uh, tequila. Have you tried Terramana? It's pretty good. That's the rocks uh, tequila, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sweet. I had, yeah. Terramana. Yeah. yeah. I had to try it. So it's that um, Grand Marier, mm -hmm. uh, Saint Germain. Yeah. Um, just a little tinge of simple syrup mm -hmm. and um, a fresh squeeze of lime. That's what's in here. That looks beautiful. Yeah. I really, I, I, I really like for us, no shade to anybody else, but like people of color, you know, to start using um or get not organic, but natural, just cut out the sugar so you can really taste, you know, the liquor, the layers of everything. So yeah, yeah. I don't I try not to do too much frou frou, but if you want frou frou, I got you. You want something more balanced. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am. I'm working with the lady, and we're putting on a um event where it's non-alcoholic mixers, yes, but she's thing. using like seed lip and you know uh, Rev. I think it's like Rivo or something like that. Rebus. I can't think of it. But okay. it's a, but it's a lot of those non-alcoholic mixer mm -hmm. drinks. Yeah, that's, that's the thing now. Yeah, they simulate the taste of liquor, but it's not. And <laughs> it's it's not so. But a lot of it is people are expecting it to be super sweet. And I'm like, I mean, if you want sugar, I'll just give you a cup. But I want you, <laughs> I want to get you a cocktail of layers. I want you to be able to taste. So I made this really, really good um, vanilla whiskey sour. Ooh. And girl, yeah, because it, it was the bomb. And it tastes almost like a real whiskey sour. So, you know, that's, that's very important because a lot of people who look like us are just like, I just want my, either they want it sweet. Mm -hmm. Well, they want it strong. Yes, like you know, that's all. That's what they always. Can you make me something sweet? You like? Oh, okay, I got you. Look at I my mean, friend. If you want to be basic, yeah, but you know, <laughs> don't you want to be amazing? Let's try okay. something different. My friends out there telling my business. Yes, they yes. are. Yes, I did. I did work for Patron. Yes, shout out to our. Oh Jane. my goodness! Look at the tea. <laughs> Someone said tea the palate. Yes, oh, no. tea fresh juices. I you know. you want to tease a palette? Uh, yes, please. Oh. <laughs> now, someone also want to know, just talk to me about your virtual mixology classes. Like, how does that go? How does that work? If we wanted to sign up with support, because, you know, I am, um, I'm going to go around and start buying a whole bunch of mixology classes. <laughs> what does that look like? Um, so you could either, either choose, like, um, like, if you want to make margaritas, if you want to make, um, use whiskey, bourbon, you know, you choose your liquor. And, we could do, I do something, you know, do stuff standard, but if not, you know, um, we can also customize it to, you know, like you may be having a theme, I don't know, mm -hmm. could be Taco Tuesday, I don't know, and you want margaritas, and we're not just going to make the basic margaritas, and we're yeah. going to use fresh ingredients, and try to use what you have at home, that's the thing to make you, you know, the best bartender you can be at home with what you have at home, so right. the classes are via Zoom, um, how many, you know, people want, you know, if you want to talk about pricing, you can hit me on my inbox. Yeah. But usually up to 10, you know, you right there, 3, 350. But, you know, and I provide you the link. I will, um, I will um, tell you what to shop for, you know, everything you need. The last one I did was a Valentine's Day and it was super super cool super cool i had like bedroom candy in there i had a rep from bedroom candy um i don't know if people into 
you know, readings and stuff like that. I had um, my sister, actually, who's on here, and my friend um, Ty, they were doing love readings. Um, mm. And we made a, what did we make? Uh, I know we made a, a strawberry lemon drop martini, mm. if I'm not mistaken, and we did a strawberry mint mule, I think. And I try to keep the, you know, some people have this thing about, now, tell tell me this now. You have okay. to know that this is a myth. Okay. When people say, I don't want to mix my liquor. I fucking like, hate that. I hate that. It's not real. It's <laughs> not real. If you can drink, you can drink. It's like. It's, it's not real. People are like, no. I just want to drink light, mix lights and darks. Yeah. And, and one of my favorite, or I, I don't drink Henny. And I'm like, okay, let me know where the fight gene is in your body. Like the gene that when it gets with alcohol and it activates. Like, let me know what gene that is. And we can yes. talk. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I, we did. Who is this Steve Couture? Cause she is. She's your cheerleader, and I thing. love it. <laughs> That's one of my besties. I love it, Sarah. Sarah thank you. On here. That's my bestie. I don't know if my other besties on here. All my girls. What's up? What's up? If you don't yeah. have a friend like Steve, do you even have friends? I mean, come on. Okay. All right. I love her. She had a shaker contest too. Bourbon giveaway. So you did you do the giveaway online? Or how did you I do did, your giveaway? I did the giveaway. The giveaway was was actually not a giveaway. Basically, hey poo poo. Yes, my other boo boo. Uh, Ann Andre, is on. Andre. Hey girl. Hey. Is it Ann or on? On. On. Hey on. Yes. Yes. Um. So we had a shaker contest. So okay. after we did the cocktails and things like that, they knew what to do, how to shake. So we had a shaker contest, and that was the prize. It was a bumble rum gift set that I had. Ooh. So gave that away yes ma'am now yeah, are you so Val couture she's my what i call my class concierge when i do my classes she's the one that's talking and getting gathering the people while i do my thing <laughs> okay so she's kind of like your i don't want to say admin but like you're like she she helps yeah, she keeps the, the class of the, you know, the Florida <laughs> class. So, yeah. I got to figure out what's, I mean, it's not a bad word to say admin, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, but that that's basically what, what, you know, what she does. So that's beautiful. Hey, that's okay. what I did before I bartended. What like, did you do before you bartended? Administ I was administrative assistant. Like, that's my thing. Yeah. Really? Like, yeah. So mm -hmm. how do you go from being an admin to working? You know what kind of life that is, which is indoor, sitting at a computer, to being the life of the party because essentially that's what we do as bartenders we're life of the parties um well I, let's see i can't tell the year but i got laid off from blue cross blue shield ah oh, those and, bastards yes oh it was the best thing i was ready for it. you know one of those you like look okay yeah yeah that's when the universe has to push you yeah yeah so i um was laid off there sitting at home not doing nothing i was like you know i like to drink and I think no, I think MySpace was the th oh see I'm telling my age. MySpace was the thing. So I met somebody on MySpace that needed a bartender and I was like, he was like, it's real simple. Like I was like, I, yeah, I could do that. So I started like I said, I was at a Bollywood bar, honey. And that was so, like some of the best money. Ever. Tell me about this Bollywood bar. I like I've worked for Indians from India. I don't know mm -hmm. if I should say that. I've worked with Indians from India. I just didn't put that out there. Yeah. yeah How yeah. was your experience? Oh, experience was great. It like I love meeting new people. I love different cultures. You know, like I just want to, you know, see mm -hmm. what y'all got going. So it was, um, let's see how can it was equ not even equivalent because they didn't take their clothes off. Okay, mm -hmm. it's equivalent. Like like say they had dancers, female mm -hmm. dancers. They were clothed and it was just a bunch of men. And you knew who the head man was because when he came in, they were all like, you know, what? you know, they, and I was behind the bar my first night. So the girl, um, she was like, when they throw money, don't touch it because they would be throwing money on the girls. Like I said, if the head guy come in, they would throw money on him. Mm -hmm. So my so my first night there, when the ladies came out, they were dancing, and then one of the head guys he sat at the bar, and he was they were throwing money on him, and I just looked, and they loved uh, Johnny Walker, they loved mm -hmm. Johnny Walker, 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they were drinking Johnny Walker, which was, you know, that simple Johnny Walker and water, Johnny Walker and whatever else, you know what I'm saying, they want. And they were, like I said, just throwing money. And I was like, they were tipping too, you know. And the guy turned around and looked at me. He said, he said, you can have it. I said, oh, oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Girl, I remember I took a bag of money home. I stopped at the Waffle House to eat because I could not believe I had that much money off wow. a one night in a bar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but they man. they end up closing and um they went back home, you know, mm-hmm. to their country. But yeah, that was like one of the best uh, gigs that I ever had for it to be my first one. Yeah, that was awesome. That is wild. I would love to see. That's the kind of stuff where they do the dance and they're just yeah dancing. Yeah. just like, yeah, come get this, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do, they do. Have you have you traveled out of Atlanta to do parties and events? Yeah, I go to Miami a lot. And you can work, do you do private or do you do, um, they call, what do they call, like a, oh, I forgot, when you go uh, guest star or guest, host, guest bartender at places? Yeah, no, this was um, like actual big events, so. I go do those, yeah. Like if they have um arts and beats or um what's the um I can't think of that. What's the big thing they have in Miami? So biker week? No. Um, <laughs> no. Um, I can't think of it. Yeah. But it's a big thing. It's the art show. It's the big thing. I just I just was I was just there this year. That's crazy. It's on. <laughs> yeah, but I I I will travel. I will travel. If you got the funds, I will travel. That is the goal. I keep telling people we're trying to be a cocktail geisha. Like, book me. I'll make some cocktails for you. I'll entertain. I'm not going to sleep with you unless you're sexy. Like, if, you, if you're if you a drag, I mean, I obviously got to do it for the culture. I've got to sleep with you. But anybody else, though, like, it's conversation. It's conversation. Art Basel, yes. Art, Art ba- Basel. Oh, I would have never yes. guessed that. Yes, I would have never guessed that. Thank goodness My for that. My cousin is here. Hey, Kel Bell. Hey, Kelsey. I'm talking about you know whenever I meet people from the A, they yeah. get support out the butt. So I love it. And uh, Lindsay, she's Cleveland Bourbon girl. Um, hey, Cleveland she, Bourbon girl. She keeps asking this like all night. Can you please okay. tell her where you got those glasses from? She's probably gonna miss it, but I upload this to YouTube so she'll see the replay. Where did you get these glasses from? The beauty supply store. <laughs> thing about black women we will find deals okay, we do not have to pay much we will find a deal Mm-mm, the beauty supply store oh my goodness so you're in here you're making your cock so you make cocktails right yes someone wanted to know what is the cocktail that you make most of like what's your most common cocktail that you make most common if you have all, you know yeah i said people always ask for margaritas lemon mm-hmm. drop you know what a lemon drop because mm-hmm. the way I do mine, don't ask me, okay? Because you want something quick. I, you know, I want to give you some fresh stuff, but yeah, lemon drops. I do too. Um, I like a fresh lemon drop. Margaritas. My girl Fair on here, you know, she put me on too. But um, and it's real simple. Mm-hmm. And I don't even drink dark like that. Mm-hmm. Jack Daniels, Tennessee honey, and passion fruit juice. Mmm. Yes. Taking yes. notes. Taking notes. And oh. lately, like I said, I am a tequila girl, but lately I've been drinking gin. That's what, what I'm drinking what? tonight, yeah. yeah. That's what you're drinking? What and you got I, in there? What you, I've what? got uh, just some beef eater straight. You know, I'm yeah. trying to be fine as fuck this summer, so I can't do a lot of sugar right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Nice, girl. So uh, it's just got some beef eaters, but I like gin. I like a floral note. A lot of people will be like, I hate gin, but they don't understand. Like, you just haven't found your gin. You yeah, know. Your, yes, exactly. Somebody asked me, what's my favorite cocktail? Mm-hmm. Margaret, anything with tequila in it. Yeah, now, I do love I, tequila. I, I do love tequila. I'm a tequila girl. But when yeah. I, if I order tequila, I don't usually order margaritas. I just get tequila on the rocks with mm-hmm. a splash of lime juice. Yeah. And the, I'm, I'm we got to hang out because I feel like we're the same <laughs> person. I'm just in Ohio. And you're in Georgia. Oh, what part of Ohio are you? I in? am Columbus, born and raised, Buckeye oh State, O H I O. Buckeye State. Wait a minute. Look, I had a boyfriend in high school, and 
I don't know how we started liking the Ohio Buckeyes, but we had matching shirts, matching hats, yeah. and everything. Yeah, that's that's funny. It, it <laughs> takes off. It takes off. I I come I've come down there. Um, so I used to do. I worked with this thing called Black Business Life. So we actually mm -hmm. came down to um uh Georgia a few times, and we had events in Atlanta where we did a um a Black Spirits Expo. Mm -hmm. So you know we got to meet. Like, baby, baby, that's my cousin. I was there. What? I was there. Yeah. That is crazy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. Um, yeah, yeah. The first one, um, I was. I actually ended up having to do um, OPP wine. They wasn't able to show up, so I had to get verse on the wine real, real quick, so I could, you know, share the things with the people. And then the second one, I was there in the beginning for prep and everything, but I had mm -hmm. an event to do that that day. So mm -hmm. yeah, I was that girl. Oh Shout yeah, out we got and Tiffany. Yeah. yeah. Oh my, they were so awesome. We um, I can't remember. I can't remember the first one too well, but the second one I know it it exploded. It was like so many people were there. Right. You know, we had all the different rooms, and it was just like this is just flipping bananas. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> And that's where I got to make um, bomb aid vodka who's down there. Yeah, he's on one here. Pretty cool mm -hmm. guy. Sip your creations. Um, he's on here. He's down in Georgia as well. He does like a YouTube channel where it's like a a, a, a alcohol game show. So you know. Yes, yes. I was trying to. I I went and watched um the video with him. Mm -hmm. So sip your creations if you're on here. Follow me, boo. Hey. Yeah, I told him I was like, I'm coming. I'm coming down to Georgia. I think I'm a plan to come down. Maybe in this month of April, I actually go out the country in May, so I'm trying to oh. get down there. Um, I you can't say much flight. about it. I just gotta. I can't say. I, I'm trying to get flued and bent over, baby. So I'm going out. You follow me, thank you, love. Thank yeah, you. he's cool. He's super cool. Super cool dude. Very funny. So I'm saying we gotta get together when I come down there, and we gotta mix it up a little bit and do some stuff. So, so right now. You blowing mm -hmm. up, you doing your thing, you making it, you hot. I love it. Ten years from now, what's TK doing? On a beach. <laughs> oh, Relaxed, okay? Like relaxed. Just, yeah, you know you gotta. See, you know, I, I can't tell my age, mm -hmm. but yeah, I need to. It's time. Well, when you said MySpace, it kind of gave me hey, no, um, an idea. Right there. Cause I'm a MySpacer too, so you know, bam, like I got you, I got you, <laughs> I got you. you but know? yeah, like yeah, ten years, you know, yeah. I hope for people to be booking me, and I'm like, look, baby, it's like it's like five grand, ten grand. So. Yes, there's a uh, this guy I don't know his name. He does like um, mystery dinners or something like that, like, and yeah. like you you pay, like you pay money. Yeah, and you show I like up. That. Yeah, right. But you pay like you paying money, man. Like I'm trying to do something like that. I Someone would says, love to do something like that. It's like a whole experience. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I we, like that. We bring together uh some another segment of Tam's Heroes. Well, wait a minute. What's Tam's Heroes? <laughs> What's Tam Heroes? What, what is, is Tam's Heroes? Is that something yeah. that you're doing now? Is that oh they telling me I need to mark mobile barking in, in my own trailer? Oh, you okay. should. I have somebody, I and I don't know if you guys do this right here, but I work with someone up here, and I have a mobile bar, which is just like, a, um, not a trailer, but it's like the bar that you can set up as an LED yeah. bar that lights up. Mm -hmm. This person has the bar. Like, they bring you the whole bar to you. It has, like, the bar set up. It has tables in it. It has a television. Like, it's a whole entire mobile bar. So, you know, I'm just, you know, throwing it out there. You charge them for that bar, right? When you set it at, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. So you charge them for the bar, and you charge them for the bartenders that go with the bar. That's Someone funny. says you've been mixing since high school. I feel like that's a little illegal. But I'm not a <laughs> snitch. There's a I'm no snitch made here, baby. Hey. It's safe with me. I used to drink people under the table, honey. Yeah. Don't don't try me. Don't try. I don't me. think I've ever been that way. I think <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'm I, I think now. I try to be now. that person, but my yeah. liver said, bitch, no. Yeah, no, bitch, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> With mm -hmm. two libations. So who is, oh, shh, somebody said, shh. <laughs> wow. 
So who do you follow? Like, who are your inspirations when it comes to the bartending game? Oh, I love, um, um, I recently been following Jalen Little. Um, I think it's J-A-Y-L-Y-N-N. I love her. Um, uh, I follow the Cocktailery. Um, I follow a lot of bartenders, but like the Cocktailery, she definitely inspires me on the mixology class side. Like she's, she's doing it big. She's doing real big. Um, uh, I follow this girl named Monica Denise. I just love Monica because she travels. I have a I have a daughter. I have one daughter, so you know it's not that you know easy for me to just get up and go. But when I say this girl travels everywhere and do all the things, and I'm like, I want to be like you when I grow up. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. Um, like I said, I, look, I follow you. I follow. Um, Thank you. I follow you too. That's how I know you're here. Yeah, I was looking at your stuff like, ooh, she got hands. She got cocktail hands. I like that. Yeah, I follow Josh, of course. Me and Josh, I've been knowing Josh for a minute. Like, how'd you uh, meet Josh? He's on everywhere. Facebook, honey, on Facebook, it was a um. There's a group called it was called the Chocolate the Chocolate Bartenders. Mm -hmm. Um, and we all met up there, and then we had a um a meet and greet in Atlanta once, and oh, whole oh, Paul's. Oh yeah, you asked me who was my inspiration. Yes, Tiffany Barrier. Ooh. Like, that's bang right there. I like I I love her energy. She's awesome. Like she's dope. If you've not following her, she's the drinking coach at the drinking coach. Yeah, I follow her. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She was at um one of the um she came to the Spirit Excess. So like Tiffany, Josh, um, if Josh is still on here, uh what's he uh, probably jumped Mike? off right now. Yeah. And Mike, um Mike is doing his thing in Ohio actually. What? Um, hey, Mike. And Mike probably don't even remember me, but we had that thing in Atlanta where we all met up, and I had to drop him off at the house. Like, yeah, like I've been doing Josh for a minute, and when Josh comes, um, Toki, Toki's Bay too. I don't know if you know Toki. I haven't met um, So I think she's uh, Takiwa on um, Instagram. Takiwa. I can't think of the last part of it, okay. but yeah, all of them, all of them are Bay. Those are Bay. Yeah. Good. Because usually, and I always ask people because, like, for me, mm -hmm. you know, you guys are, you guys are at some hot spots, like Atlanta, tons of Black people. Chicago, you know, y'all got good connects. Uh, right. All these good connects. I'm in Ohio, and when I started bartending, like, we had hood bars, you know, where you just doing, like, a, a shot in a mixer. But when I was in there, I wanted to do all these classy things like make Manhattans and old fashioned. Mm, and they're just like, up. Mm, nah, just let me get a henny on the rocks or let me just get a henny straight with a side of coke. Or they, they never mm. say a side of coke. They'd be like, let me get a henny and coke, right? And you mix it together. And they're just like, uh, I wow. want it on the side. Like, yes. Oh, what's new? Yes. Oh, we gotta, gosh. we gotta educate the people. We gotta educate the people. How Left and right, educate them. So you're yes. going to be on a beach. And Atlanta, have you ever, have you ever, like, lived anywhere else? Or you've always just been housed in Atlanta? I'm a true Georgia peach, baby. I've been here. I keep saying Atlanta, Georgia. My bad. What you see? Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. True Georgia peach. Always lived here. Um, I never really, like, I've been a lot of places. I had, I still haven't been to a place where I was like, oh, I want to move here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't. You know, I ain't did that yet. I don't know what that's like. <laughs> I don't think I haven't lived anywhere else outside of Ohio, but I've been really like, I've been getting vibes from the universe saying, get out, like, get oh. out. And go. So I kind of want to, um, I want to just up and travel a bit more. Like, I want to, uh, there's this show on Netflix, it was called Midnight Asia, mm -hmm. and they, basically showed parts of Asia late at night. So they showed like, you know, being in Korea and being in Tokyo and all these other places at night and just the cocktails. And I was like, wouldn't that be awesome just to be able to travel around the world and just go and spotlight in a bar or place for a hot second and yes. learn the different techniques, like learn the different flavors like you talk about, like mm -hmm. soju and, and even in Africa, we, um, um, we interviewed somebody earlier this month who not this month but earlier in the season and they were in um ghana okay i feel like that's what i feel like i'm so wrong on that 
<laughs> they talked about how um, rum is such a big export uh, export in yes. that Africa. You know, just yes. how much rum they do, and how they do a lot of a lot of natural farm selection. So they're farming sugar cane, and a lot of the ingredients they're using come straight out the ground. Now like, that'd yes. be so cool just to go around the world and spotlight the different ways we drink liquor. So yeah, um, I, I, that's what I would like to do. I'm not sure how to make that happen, but it's gonna happen. Just. Put that plan for you. It's gonna happen. I got I'm trying. Yeah. I got on my I got on my board, you know, I'm gonna <laughs> figure out. I feel like maybe uh, there's this book I read called um The Alchemist. And one of the yeah, things they always say there, there. You read that book? I love that Crazy, yeah. right? <laughs> At first I was like, what the fuck? Like what <laughs> what is happening here? I don't I don't get it. But one of the things it always talks about is when you really want something, the world will the universe will bring it all to you. Mm -hmm. when you really want something so when you really want it you gotta you gotta you know you gotta feel it like if you don't <laughs> feel it if you don't believe in it yourself it's not it's not gonna manifest it's just not so right. you gotta believe that shit yeah you gotta believe it and it's not what? easy and either for, it isn't so do you do you feel like you have believed in yourself to reach the level of success because i feel like you're successful you know, other people may not but i feel like you've done a lot of stuff Thank you. you know, so how how do you keep yourself motivated? How do you keep yourself manifesting such amazingness? Yeah, <laughs> it's just <laughs> like uh, for me, it's it's hard because I I really I have so many ideas, so many ideas. My thing is execution, and like my homegirl, um, Sabah Couture, um, Courtney, like she's that person that into details so she's like oh you can do this and you can do this me i just have the big idea yeah the in between is like i don't know and that's how i end up not doing a lot of things um but i don't know i just love pe i like people mm -hmm. i like talking to people i like you know just you know hearing where other people are from because you know as a bartender you are people's therapist as well so it's so mm -hmm. interesting to hear you know different stories you know just to hear about other people's lives you know but as far as like manifesting and did i think i would be here no i don't mm -hmm. you know i don't you know when i had my daughter she changed a lot for me she changed a lot for me. So after I had her, I wasn't in the bars no more. So and then that what that's what brought on the mobile bartending because I was like, I gotta do something else, you right? Know, for the baby, you know, I can't be out late late nights. And mobile bartending for me is it's awesome because it's like more money, less time. You know what I'm saying? And you just you know, it's not like I'm up all. It can get like that, but of course I'm gonna pay. You. I'm not paying you. You gonna pay me? Yeah, I'm. A, I'm a chart. You want me there all night? Oh yeah, I'll be happy to be there all night. Absolutely. For some coins. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what that's the name of the game. Because a lot of these restaurants, you know, you're working for other people who are trying to make a lot of coin yeah. off of you. You know, so that's one thing that I do like about mobile bartending. Like, yeah. you're only gonna hire me because I'm a luxury service. I always tell my people, we're luxury service. Y'all don't need us. You don't have to have a bartender. Nope. You can get Pookie and Ray Ray to come pour your drinks. You don't need us. But if right. you're hiring us, you're going to pay me to be there, right? Yes, you have to pay me. Pay me for my time. I know what I'm worth, you know. Um, yeah. I started out on the low. I don't know how much you charge an hour. I was about to ask you. I was like, how did you figure out how much you should charge? When I first started out, I lowballed, yeah. you know. But I kind of looked at what other people were doing at the time. And um, and I think at the time, it was around like 30, mm -hmm. between 25 and 35 an hour. But today, baby, I will not. <laughs> I won't. I that's refuse. <laughs> but know, that's important. Yeah. It's like my time. I'm giving you my time. And I'm giving you the best of me when I'm there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm this these red lips that's my signature and i love the red it, it's very it pulls you in it's like i want to look at your lips i mean your words <laughs> is interesting but the lips they call me you know i like them <laughs> her time was money Sabah said her time was money so that cost her increase those rates that's true 
when I first started out, I was low balling as mm -hmm. well. And then the difference is I was just talking to somebody because they were asking me about prices. And I was like, well, one, the start out was here, but also look at what your peers are doing. So yes. you're, you're my Atlanta peers, my Georgia peers, you know, you guys are, when it comes to income is different than being in Ohio. Ohio is a cheap right. place to live. So exactly. I, I probably wouldn't charge as much as someone who lived down there. However, mm -hmm. though, the more experience I get, the more I add to it, the more um, certifications and insurance I get, I'm charging more and more because, you know, I'm worth it and I know what kind of service I have. That, you are absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. so I, I have some people who are just like, oh, you try, that's expensive. And it's like, one, there's no guarantee that you're going to make tips when you're going that's here. The thing. Like, you know, I mean, and if you're a bartender, like if you get that hourly, I don't, I'm not too concerned about my hourly pay. Okay, mm -hmm. give, give me a decent number, but my tips, mm -hmm. that's where my money is. You know what I'm saying? You know, and don't, when I used to work in the bars, you, meant, you know, you had to pool tips with some people. Oh my gosh, yeah. Don't play with my money, ma'am. <laughs> sir, ma'am. <laughs> don't play with my money. Like, if we're going to do this, let's do this. Let's, you know, let's grind it out and give people, you know, an experience, give them the best cocktail ever. Because when I, when I, when I go home, I want to, you know, you know, and that, and that, that, um, hourly, that just, I had somebody in my group. I have a group on Facebook called, uh, Atlanta bartenders and mixologists, mm -hmm. no shade, but he was like, you know, looking for bartenders at the two thirteen an hour. I said, what? Right. Yeah. Still, why, why are we still doing that in this industry? Like, why are we still giving and people like, y'all make, yes, we make what the servers make. Basically sometimes the server may make more than. You know, it just depends, but it depends on you as a bartender as well. Yeah. Anytime, anytime I bartend, I make friends all the time. Mm hmm All the time. I still got friends from bars. Yeah. I, you know, that's how I make my money. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not trying to uh, persuade, you know, like persuade you or con you out of your money. It's just that I'm giving you a good ass service. So, I deserve a good ass tip. Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, we work off our tips, honey. The tips matter. People want need to make that shirt. Tips matter. Oh, uh, or something that says big tips. <laughs> big tips. <laughs> but across your boobs, big tips yeah. wanted. Ah! Big tips. There you go. Go make there that. There we go. Big Merch coming wanted. out. Merch alert, merch alert. Yes. yes. <laughs> but I think I'm in that group of is it Atlanta bartender mixologist. Mm -hmm. I'm in that group. And um, I see some of the things that people are asking. Like this one guy, he was like, we need a bar. They wanted bartenders. They wanted really pretty girls. See, and they're like, that. we're going to pick from the girls. But mm -hmm. they they were like, and we're going to pay them. But it depends on their service. But we're going to pay for the hotel room. So I was like, wait. So they're all staying in one room together? And Girl, they tell all me that post so I can delete it. What? This was like a while ago. He no, he was just looking for bartenders, but this is what he inboxed me with. They were all gonna stay in one hotel room. He wanted like seven girls. They're staying in one hotel room. They were gonna earn tips, but they would get paid depending on how well they worked. And oh I was like, God. none of my girls are gonna go for that. I wouldn't mm -hmm. go for that. And I know you want some bad chicks, but bad chicks, they cost money. That's what y'all don't get. Like you if you want an average chick, she might go for that. But a bad chick? Yeah, she, we're not. She yeah. puts money into what she looked like. Yeah, and I've never been into that either. Like you, no shade to the young girls. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you if you young and doing your thing, hey, I say, as long as you respect yourself, get that money. But right, I, you know, all that too little and no, no, no. <laughs> Can I get a picture? What for? Why do you want me to make drinks? And I I get it. I get it. Your face card holds weight. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It does. I mean, heck, when I was pregnant with my baby, I was still working in the bars, and these boobs made me a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They were tipping for the boobs, baby. I was like, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I get it. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, wish, I don't think I don't remember that pose, but if, girl, get out of here. Nah, I will, I'll, I'll go on, because I'll see you there. I'll uh, friend you on Facebook, because I think I'm still in the group. Okay, but I was looking for, like, because I wanted to travel more. 
Mm -hmm. I'm in that group. I'm also in a traveling bartender group, and that's where they go around. They hit. I I could I could um, ping me your Facebook when we get off. Okay. And I'll add you into it. And this is like places where you travel all over the country and you do like festivals at other places. Yeah. And people will be like, hey, we're going to do this festival. Are you guys going to sign up and join? And people will, I mean, it's crazy. Like some of the stories you hear is like, damn, like that's some people didn't get paid, but other people they're still waiting for pay. Mm -hmm. um, some people like get there, they travel all the way out there and they have no money, which is wild. Like you don't travel broke. Yeah, they no. Travel. They have no money and they find out that they're not needed for the event so then like they have no place to go and uh it, it's, it's wild but for some people for other people it works out i don't know if i want to do that girl you you have to pick it you gotta pick and choose the ones you know? <laughs> the, the cater will come out of me ma'am okay <laughs> be like, you run, can... run me my coins I <laughs> your throat, sir. you just oh, gotta pick the good ones uh, uh like if you do something like Bonnaroo, okay. Which, like that that type of event, you know, people are going to be out there drunk. But you and, and then you have to ask the right questions. Like one spot, they wanted bartenders, but they didn't tell bartenders that it was a BYOB. So most people are going to bring their own liquor versus paying twenty dollars for one. You know, so you just gotta ask the right questions. But I'll get you. I'll add you to it because it's just nice to see it. I've worked for one of the places MVP, and they're cool. They are slow about getting your money, but they get it. Mm. Okay, so. got you. <laughs> yeah, a little bit you. You. So before we go, I have something called like the Last Supper questions. Okay. Okay. Cool beans. All right. I'm ready. So, Last Supper questions. So there's um, the question is you're stuck on the island. You can only have one liquor for the rest of your life. You only can have one bar tool for the rest of your life. And then you can have one other thing, just one random thing that you would want on this island. Nah, no, Sivad, Miss Sivad, they do not have anything writing because bar some of these bartending places they just roll dirty. So you know, I that's know. why I do MVP. MVP is pretty is solid for what they are, but I could see myself doing that type of thing. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. You three things. Okay, so I get one, one liquor, liquor that you have to work two. with for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. One bar tool that you have for the rest of your life, and there's one random island I, item that you have for the rest of your life. I know people think I'm gonna say tequila. <laughs> I know that's what I thought. I was like, oh man. But it's a it's a tie between vodka and rum because mm. they're versatile. You could do you could do different things. Like vodka is like an astringent, you know. Mm -hmm. so, you can use it for different things. So I'm going to go with vodka. But, you know, if I was just drinking on the island, of course it would be, you know, if I, it would be tequila. But, um, <laughs> so yeah. when that sure did say tequila, they thought they knew you. <laughs> they kind of did. Try, I was trying to think of survival. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. Like rum and vodka, you could use them for, you know, cooking. You can know, use it for, you know. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of your liquor thing. a lot of your alcohol before it became drinkable they used alcohol as medicinal medicinal yes yeah that's why you had them hot toddies baby it was and, and this whole time people was just getting lit, lit. <laughs> didn't even know it my i don't want to put my mama business out there but if she had a toothache she like you got some jack daniels oh shoot you. But that whiskey on that, I was like, what? Okay. So I guess my grandma this, took raisins and soaked them in gin. Come on, grandma. Yeah. I know, right? Well, I think yeah. she just wanted to get lit. I don't know that. Because <laughs> she was like, it helps with something. But I was steady sneaking and I go into the room just. My like, grandma, you you tricking me. You tricking yeah, me. Okay, so I have to have what? One, one, one tool, one bar tool. Yes, ma'am. A bar tool. I don't know why I'm thinking of <laughs> hell, a paring knife. That's what I want. A pair that is an interesting choice. Please share why. Would you want a no, paring knife? I'm thinking if I'm on an island, I might, you know, if the island got some vegetation on it, I can use it to cut up some things. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If I'm buy some water, I may 
had to go fishing. I gotta cut up what I did. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah, a parent, a parent knife. And one thing you said one. What was the other? Just one random thing that you just look like. I can't live without this. My red lipstick. Ooh. <laughs> Like you are gangster, that's all. Just red I'm lipstick. Like, give me some red lipstick. Ah, <laughs> red lipstick. I don't know. I don't watch TV like that. Oh, no shows for you. If I had a I, lately, I I used to be really into shows, but now I can't. My attention span is like I can't. Mm. I, can't mm -hmm. I can't. I cannot. Um. Oh no, because I probably if I'm stranded, baby, I probably won't have no cell service and I can't plug on my phone. Right, right. It's just hmm. I love how how much thoughts you're giving to this. Some people just throw some stuff out there like a dishwasher and it's like they talk <laughs> nothing about it. Like they didn't even think about there's no electricity. Like they ain't got no dishes. Dishwasher. It's just like, all right, bro, go ahead. What are you gonna oh, do with a dishwasher? Um, it's not my job to ruin people's dreams. It's my I job know. to interview. Yeah, I'm not. Child, I don't even need underwear. Let's see. <laughs> You're going to island of It's going to be hot. It's going to be hot, honey. Um, have, to have it all out and everything. I don't know. Some random thing. I don't know. Some random. It could be anything. A man. Be. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I can go for one of those. Yes, girl. Give us a man. A Make real extra man. Chop. Let me get one of that. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you see all the hubbub about Will Smith and uh sure, Chris yeah. Rock? Chris, yes, I did. I did. Was real was was Will wrong? No. Okay. <laughs> we'll, leave it, we'll leave it at that. He was not Lay wrong. It at it. Mm, <laughs> technically, no. Yeah. I, I feel the same way. It was just like Probably not the best place to do it because you got so many witnesses. Yeah. You got the but, whole world you know, watching. <laughs> you got the whole world watching. But it is what it is. It, it, it is. That man, I think you get to a point, and that's, I tell people, like, I never want to be famous. I don't want that type of energy. No. I want the rich money, though. I want the money that comes mm -hmm. with being famous, wealth, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I want to get to the point of where, um, where you can slap somebody on TV. Chris, you slapped Chris Rock. He's supposed to be a legend. I want that kind of money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm That's sorry. What? I'm sorry. If I was Chris Rock, I am sorry, Will Smith. I would have ran and jumped on your back, sir. Yeah. I would've, I would've and we would have had a hood moment at the Grammys. I'm like, go to commercials because I got them. With you. When keeping it real goes wrong. <laughs> exactly. It's going wrong. It's You're not going just going to smack wrong. me, Will, and then walk the fuck off. That's not right. what happened today, That's Chris Rock. Not tonight, exactly. <laughs> Miss TK. Yes. Yes, you yes. have been amazing. You are just like a breath of freshness. I love your energy. I love Thank your vibe, you. Queen. Put your payment information to y'all should be paid. Put yes, put your uh, cash app if you guys want to support the lovely TK. Drop your oh, cash app in here. Okay, look at that. Look at right because we were taught all our lives wherever you show out is where you get your ass whooped at. Mm. Oh. oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, support. If you want to see more from her, support her and her drive, support her about where she's going and what she's trying to do. You know, inbox her, cash app her. Um, it takes a community. Support, like Cleveland Bourbon Girl says, support these queens. Please support us. We appreciate that. You know, I too would like to go down here and meet Tyler Perry's cast and yeah. ask him questions about these wigs. Like, what's going on with these wigs, Tyler? <laughs> happening? What is going on with these wigs? I know now, we can do I, better. I yeah. know we can do better. He has, you guys, these are happening in Atlanta. You know he's doing this on purpose. Atlanta's like the hair capital of the world. You know he's doing this on purpose. He got to do better. He got to do better. Now, I can't say, I know you asked me about Tyler earlier. Like, he was in my vicinity. Like, he was at the truck. You know what I'm saying? He was ordering his drink. He was, you know, doing his thing with Eva, you know. If y'all watch Tyler Perry's, um, you know, shows or whatever. Um, oh, I had a girl. I had a thing with Miss. Uh, what's her name? Tammy. Tammy. Tam. Tam. Oh, uh, uh, man. Tamla Man. Tamla Man. Yes. Yeah. It was, it, she's. When I say 
the most down to earth lady ever. She is awesome. Tamla Man, she was cool. Um, the whole cast from um Meet the Brown, cool people. Oh yeah. my gosh, that's mm. so cool. So I gotta get you off, but before we go, how okay. can we support you? When's your next class? What can we do to make sure you stay on top, Queen? Okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, okay, so. You can follow me on this page, All Hail Miss King, All Hail, H-A-I-L-M-I-S-S-K-I-N-G. Or you can follow my cocktail page, Just Sip Cocktails, J-U-S-T-S-I-P, Cocktails. Mm. And I put my um, I put my cash app in there. I appreciate anyone who cash at me. I wasn't looking for that tonight, but if you do, I appreciate you. But follow me, share me with your friends. Um, my next class, I'm working on a bigger class, actually, is the ladies' night class, um, where we're going to be doing all the things, okay? But oh. um, that's my <laughs> awesome. that's my next my next big, big one. Right now, I'm doing festivals. It's festival season, so you might see me in these streets, okay? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. yeah, I appreciate you. I, look, when you sent me the message, I was like, this is what I'm going to be feeling. For, but I because <laughs> you are awesome. I mean, I talk everybody, and, and when I talk to you guys, yeah. um, I also figure out like, okay, who else can I connect with and, and mm -hmm. see? Because I, you know, I'm all about growing, and being better. Like I want to be right. the best at what I do, and like I said, I want to travel all over the world, be this cocktail geisha, and I see a lot of the cocktails you I make. Love that. Cocktail I love geisha. cocktail geisha. I am. Girl, you, I need to do a, you need to do a photo shoot with the. With the whole geisha set up. I do have a I do have a boudoir really? photo shoot coming up shortly. So oh, I'm, a little, geisha. I'm a little nervous about that, but you know oh, you, got, you can do a geisha with a cocktail. Come on, baby. Well, it's gonna, I'm gonna can. be scantily clad, so they about to get all these rolls. But yeah. it's okay. Hey, let the, let, the robe, <laughs> let the robe hang off your shoulder, honey. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss TK, you are yes. amazing. I thank you so much for joining me. Thank um, definitely you. shout out to people who support you because uh, Savad, I'm so sorry. I've been calling you Siva all night. I apologize. Savad Couture, Fab Farah, uh, Mocha Latte, Twin, Kelsey, everybody. If I'm Sage, um, Book, all of y'all. Love you, love you, Rita Fair, Courtney, Kelsey, Andrean. I love all of you. I love y'all for supporting me. If I missed you, you know I love you. Rocky. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining me today. Don't forget to, to follow her. Don't forget to follow me. Check out the full replay on Instagram Live and check out the YouTube channel, Diary of a Mad Black Bartender, where you subscribe, support, so that I can keep bringing on amazing brown bartenders from yes. all over the world thank you for joining us you guys be safe be sound and be loved bye, bye.